You have to do the thing where you do the opposite of what you think it is. So click up there. Or there. Anyway. God, and if you want to subscribe, please click down. God. Oh, cover this is why we can't have nice things. Son of a. <laughs> I tried to make it through the whole f video without saying a f curse word. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me and this guy. And the whiskey that makes it sound better. Hey, I'm Josh. I'm Sean. And we are celebrating a couple of different things today, but first of all... A lot of things. Uh, so first of all, first of all, it's got to be a wardrobe change. Right. Three, two, one. Nice. Much better. Oh, so much more fitting, much more suited. For what we're going to talk about. I agree. I don't have a Black Lives Matter shirt, but I do have this. I like my whiskey straight. My friends can go either way. Um, we are celebrating Black History Month. It's February at time of recording. Tomorrow at time of recording is President's Day, also known as Valentine's Day. And uh, happy Valentine's Day, buddy. Happy Valentine's Day to you. You have been married uh, a lot more years than I have wanted to be married. And just let me ask you, what is the secret to not maintaining a good marriage, just maintaining a marriage? Whiskey. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> what a transition. Let us jump in. Yes, so we have Uncle Nearest. A black owned distillery by, uh, owned by Fawn Meadows. I picked this up. Oh, sorry, Fawn Weaver. I picked this up at Total Wine, our good buddy Sandra, or Sandra, depending on her choice that day, uh, hooked me up with this. It's Uncle Nearest. It's her, it's her name. She, she has the same preference every day. I'm, I'm Sean, S-E-A-N. It's never I prefer S-H-A-W-N um, because those I, people are wrong. And if you spell it S-H-A-U-N, you're illiterate. Do you remember, well, when However, she, if you spell it C-H-A-U-N, you are a fucking legend because I know who you are, Sean Debris Horton, you goddamn monster. What an absolute monster musician Sean Debris Horton is. But we I digress. I, oh, I do not. I will never digress about Sean Debris Horton and how oh. fucking phenomenal of a musician that guy is. What I... Wow. Well, when we... Met, I, I wish. I wish my name was spelled like his so I had a fraction of how good he was. Okay. So when we met this young lady at Total Wine, she introduced herself as Sandra, right? One time. Mm -hmm. Today I asked her, Sandra. Well, it's been a minute. How do I say your name again? She said, Sandra? I was like, well, I thought it was Sandra. She said, oh, it depends on the day. Yeah, it, you know, it just depends on what she wants. See, so there you go. Anyway, back to the, why we're here. Uncle Nearest, 1856. There's also an 1884. Which is apparently um, nine bucks cheaper total wine, and also a little bit hotter. Nine bucks, the difference. Yes. So I said, "Why not go for this?" Um, take it away. I I brought this gift for him for Valentine's Day. So this is my thing. I start to look into and decode bottles and start to jump into what do the brands say and what do they suggest and what are their recommendations and sometimes. They're right, and sometimes they're imaginative. Sometimes they... <laughs> sometimes you feel like a nut. Uh, you know, even a blind squirrel can be... Yeah, that's right. You know, getting a nut twice a day. Um, we do agree that we like the uh, the packaging, at least, the labels. I love the label. But the... The bottle I'm a little concerned about, just because of the style of the, the horse spout, it's, you know, but if you don't mind a little drip, a little style, little extra style, little extra drip, then there's something wrong with you. However, it's a nice fat cork. Nice fat cork. And if it ever has a cork, please tip it upside down and just give it a good every time. Give it a good once yeah. over. Especially if it's been a minute since you've had any. Uh, That's nice. Well, you and probably loose. know that already. Nice and loose, mm -hmm. and they're just coming right out. Oh, beautiful! I like that they give you a Dragon Ball too on the uh, sticker there. Yeah, three, three, three star Dragon Ball, right on. Um, now, award-winning American whiskey, handcrafted 
Handmade in Tennessee, maple charcoal filtered, aged in charred oak barrels. Maple charcoal. Yeah, I heard a lot of the a, a lot of the compliments towards the maple notes, mm-hmm. a lot of maple syrup notes, a lot of maple syrup suggestions. I'm not a big maple syrup fan, mm-hmm. so if this is overbearing, I will go ahead and sp- speak to the one percent of people that I will talk to. But um, good color. Here on the on the blurb on the back on the copy we got astonishingly smooth with a gentle finish. Uncle Nearest 1856 is inspired by the best whiskey maker the world never knew, Tennessee's premier master distiller and teacher. Uncle Nearest helped perfect the distinctive maple charcoal filtering process that exemplifies the best of American whiskey. So this is buying into the American whiskey, American bourbon, brown sugar, maple, vanilla, sugary, caramel note that we all know and love, Mm -hmm. or at least that we all know. Made by hand, double double distilled and aged in American oak barrels, Uncle Nearest 1856 pays tribute to his legacy and craft. And that's it. So this is supposed to be an American whiskey, extra maple notes. I can smell the maple from here. It smells like pancakes, and it smells like Maker's Mark. But with there's a very distinct Maker's Mark. Mm, that, and I should like it because I like bourbon Maker's Mark. twinge to it. Yeah. Like I can, I yeah. haven't even gone into the nose yet. Now, for those of you in the whiskey tribe, I did look, and I I noticed that Rex and Daniel did recently uh, like a most giftable whiskey list, and this was on it, but they didn't have a, t- a chance to actually do it on camera. All they said about it was. It's a damn fine bourbon, and they got a little peanut out of it. So, okay, I'll, yeah. pay, I'll, I'll pay attention to the peanut note. That's yeah. I I I don't remember ever having a bourbon that was like oh, there's, that's peanut, like a really strong peanut. So. I'm interested by the color because the color yeah. looks super altered. Now I'm wondering if in the, in, a, in a non-traditional, non-American way. Now I'm wondering if the 1856 is so liked. I, like I've I've heard a lot of people say how much they liked it. I wonder if it's because of the just extra aging or what? So the, from what I see from their, their website, mm-hmm. it proclaims that it's between eight and 14 years. So we're looking at an eight year minimum, not to claim anything about their eldest age, but if their website says eight year minimum, this is an eight year minimum. And boy, howdy is it oil heavy. Yeah. I'm excited because it is uh, it is that hundred proof. It Ooh. is that fifty percent mark. There is there are some really nice rich notes to it. But the one I'm most intrigued about, and the note I really want to throw at you, and just give me a second, mm-hmm. give me a moment, let me dive into it. And I want to see what your top three notes are because I want to go in and see if I find All it. Right. Uh, shall we toast? May our noses never fail us, and may our eyes never betray us. Very interesting. I get maple. I get baking spices. Mm -hmm. And I get, I don't get peanut, but that's maybe on the taste. There's something I can't quite place. Uh, fr- stone fruits. What? You're on the track. <laughs> yeah. You're stone on fruits. it. Uh, black. Ch- no, not black cherry. Can I point you? Please. Raisins. Oh, which kind? Raisins. The just raisins in general, not sultanos or raisins, brown sugar. Mm-hmm. You go guide you in that direction. Hmm. Oh man, that's disappointing. Well, maybe it's better on the taste. It's it's not it's not what everybody suggested. Right. It's not it's not putting me off. It's very inviting still. It's not putting me off. Yeah. There's a little blurb that's gonna pop up. It's like this joke. <laughs> I mean it's it yeah and like a lot I know. Just you get Yeah. What? It's gonna sound weird. Cold water. 
You don't smell that cold water has? Mineral. No. Well, maybe, yeah. Okay. Cold mineral water, yeah. cold filtered water. I'm cold... not getting as much wood as I expected, but... Uh... What I'm getting out of it is a lot of berries and stone fruit, but it's... Look, the overwhelming... I'm going to dive into the taste. I'm going to go into the taste before I do, before I suck up all the alcohol vapor. This is supposed to be 50%. I think I've nosed 90% of that 50%. Germany, France, Spain. Guten Tag. No, no. Oh. You're up. Germany. You're up. That's a David Kamek right there. That, that's, that's pure father-in-law. Well done. I said, I'm used. I gotta use well that. Done. Well done. That was a good one. <laughs> I, it took me a that's second. A, that's a. That is a. Good, oh, I'll have I'll have a pin drop or something right there where, you, where you're like processing. <laughs> I just I want to see that the I went cricket chirps mm -hmm. where I'm processing and then the light bulb when I go. <gasps> Better just know. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. Um. Please lie to me and tell me that this, I'm just not sophisticated enough for this because this is very oily. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, and I get a little maple, but for me, the oil is almost overwhelming anything I thought I smelled. Are you, what are you getting from the oil? What kind of oil is that? Actually, it is almost like a syrup based oil, like a maple syrup. Kind of thing. Now that I'm, I'm kind of settling in past. I the, get I get more of the leaf part of the maple than I do of the tree sap, of the sweetness. I have no idea what that means. I mean, I, I don't maple trees. Well, yeah, but it, like, but it smells like, and it tastes like maple leaves crunching in the air. Right. It's a very visceral. I'll say this for them. Whatever they were trying to do. Like it was intentional. It, it, this wasn't a. They went. They went for a thing. They, they took a shot. Yeah. I mean, sixty dollar bottle of wine. I mean, bottle of whiskey. They sixty dollar bottle of whiskey, and you know what? I get. It. It is a good. It, it's a good bourbon. It is, but it's not what we were expecting. I'm really. I'm really on this note, though. Like I'm just. I'm blanking on it and I can't get it. Look, the biggest reviewed note of this whole thing, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna take one last dive in. Just nose, taste, all of it. That's what, all of a, I got a real creamy note all of a sudden. Hmm. Meanwhile, hit us up in the comments. What uh, what do you have? You ever tried the Uncle Ernest 1856 uh, or the 1884? What do you think about them? Are there any other black uh, distilleries, black-owned distilleries that you have tried? No, there's a... Sorry. It's okay. Sorry not to... Totally not to hijack that. All right. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. This newest sip. Suddenly... What did you, what'd you get on it? Did you get a little... Well, what I'm, all of a sudden, for whatever reason, the burn was gone. Like, it just mellowed out. I, I can't imagine that little, about, little amount of airtime. Yeah. I mean, I know the airtime will smooth out a lot of edges and change things. Um, the note I didn't get, the note I was really worried about that you haven't named yet. Was, ooh, there's a vegetable. Yeah, go ahead. Was oatmeal raisin cookie. <clears throat> you said raisins. You said, yeah. But I don't want to allude to that because no. I, get, I, get, I get dustiness, but I don't get oat dustiness. I get corn dustiness. I could Field. see... Field dustiness, and then I get also kind yeah. of caramel corn, kettle corn kind of vibes. Uh, but the maple, just plain kettle corn though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. The the maple really is genuinely lost upon me. It's yeah. I expected it's not the vanilla's light, and it's but it's vanilla potty. It's vanilla seedy. It's light though. He said potty, and the. <laughs> and the peanutty, <laughs> he said nutty. Like he said pee. <laughs> God damn it. I'm 10. Anyway, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to derail you. 
I was almost noting a chocolate and caramel note on the back end of letting it sit for a while because it's at 50% hmm. and letting it air out and letting it oxygenate. Oh, yeah. There's a chocolate caramel moussey, not marshmallowy, but creamy, light, tiramisu kind of note. And it's really decadent. Yeah. In a in a rich, unoff- inoffensive way. Right. It's not a dark chocolate. But like- to fight through the beginning, to get to that note. Mm-hmm. You got to be invested in the long haul, and you know what? Maybe this is a discussion whiskey. Maybe we need to talk through some more drinks right. of this whiskey, and I use some more as a conjunction to some more because graham cracker, a little bit of the bready notes, a little bit of the chocolatey notes, the sweet sugar. Yeah, no. Anyway, probably. I'm I'm trying to make a, a pun based on my observations, and it's not going well. Oh no, I got it. I just. No, it, it can go, it, you can get it and it's still not be funny. There's a vaccine for it. <laughs> not yet. Uh, you know, unfortunately, like most of me, it's a strange mutation. Nice. So getting back to what we're doing here, overall, kind of a letdown from the marketing. I want, I, it's 50%. I want more. I want the cask strength. I want to taste the unwatered down. I almost want to go like as far as it's jumping into the new make and going how much of that creamy, milky, chocolatey smoothness right. comes in from the base <clears throat> product. Well, that's supposed to be hotter. Yeah. But also meaning like it more burn. But yeah. Well, higher, yeah. higher ethanol is, content. Is everything turned up? Like higher just... ethanol content, higher alcohol content. Yes, of right. course. So for, and again, if you have ever tried the uh, Uncle Ernest 1880. Four, I believe is the uh, it's nine dollars cheaper. What did you think? Did you, you know, are you are you? It does it jive at all with what we're saying on this? Yeah, it's definitely a mellow. Like let it sit for a bit, and and it's mellowing out a little bit. What? I'm looking at the time, and we're just creeping up on twenty minutes. I'm gonna do it. You webble. Oh my gosh, what's he doing? We're 20 minutes in. Yeah. I'm just, you know, I'm giving the people what they want. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's opening up new things. Oh, righty. Yeah, like right now, all of a sudden, it's sweeter. Almost like maple a little more maple Um, So this is definitely an air, let it aerate a little bit. Um, uh, decant it. Yeah. Also a great option if you have a decanter, uh, letting it, I mean, most whi- most whiskeys that start at 40% will take a week and a half to two weeks to start to deteriorate and start to mm-hmm. weaken up. So anything that's bottled in bond, anything that's 40, 50%, anything that's cask oh. strength, it can stand up to having that, that aeration happen mm-hmm. through the multiple pours. Yeah, every sip I'm taking of this now is getting better and better. Um, it's just unfortunate that that first burn, that the first session of, of burning there is kind of still... It was uh, <coughs> off-putting. Yeah, it's... It's uh, coating everything I'm experiencing. Excuse me. It's it's influencing everything. Yeah. Uh, I really like the vanilla note now that it's had some room in the glass, by the way. In the glass, big thing to talk about, the shape and different size and different contours of glass, this more surface area allows the alcohol to dissipate faster. So I can dive in a little quicker and bury my nose a little further because the mm-hmm. opening on the glass is so much larger. Now it's... thing to keep in mind. It's definitely getting closer to Maker's Mark, in my opinion. It is, and it's. If you want to try that, there's a black cherry thing in there. Oh, I. Well, I no, they, I don't. I, mouth and nose open, you'll get it there. Black cherry, blackberry. Mm. There's a. What is that? Cheesy. But glass funky. size really does change things, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Cheesy, funky. What's funny is this size, pardon me, this size glass is what I normally drink out of if I'm just enjoying whiskey to have whiskey, yeah. not, not trying to find notes or whatever. Um, and I'll drink out of a Copita or I'll drink out of a Glencairn and 
Mm -hmm. a rocks glass. So I'll do a double pour on a rocks glass so I can rotate it. I usually have a candle going or a match or a flame or some kind. So I'll spin it and I'll heat it and I'll mellow everything out. Like I'll go through the whole gambit. That's why he's the whiskey song of our duo. I just, you know, I'm, I'm inquisitive. <clears throat> yes. And we do it's appreciate you guys. Funky purple note, like a like an eggplanty, earthy. Uh, I was I'm, gonna say more like I'm, I'm, I'm going weepy. I'm going more really mushroom almost. Because you said kind of funky earthy. Um, so quick, okay. we do appreciate you guys watching though. Um, if you haven't caught our uh, Valentine's Day trial, Jim Beam. Uh, uh, Jim Beam. Yeah, we we did some Jim Beam. Shoot out. Also into, in addition of me, also them two kind of things. Yeah, sort of. I, I made him suffer. Uh, Jim Beam decided in their infinite wisdom, let's make a vanilla and an apple liqueur infused with Jim Beam. So it's not whiskey. Not really. And I love that you're throwing all these terms out like you know, the green. Like you just say Jim Beam and I like the green apple. The yeah. Vanilla, and I'm going just, all those medicinal, sweet, sickly notes. I see why Rex and Daniel didn't actually like, go go into the paint with this too heavy. But you know what? At least we jumped in with both feet. Yeah, and honestly, this was for me personally a bit of a splurge. Just saying, you know what? There's a theme we're doing, and this looks it seems to be popular, and this looks good. I'm doing it. I don't care about the money. And I you know, certainly speaking of it. speaking of mm -hmm. not caring about the money. Mm -hmm. Not the next podcast. The podcast after the one that's coming. We're going to do some Johnny Walker reviews. Are we? Some things I've been wanting to do for a while. I'm going to cool. splurge. By the way, that part podcast we talked about, Two Brains, One Bottle, I forgot to mention. Episode one? It's for patrons only. So if you want to... Patreons. Or well, pa Patreon. Your patron on Patreon. Patron on Patreon. Right. Sorry, Grandpa, we'll get you up. So, you know, you know, you just, you people say things so goddamn fast. It's hard to <laughs> hear these fucking accents you put on everything. Link is in the description, but it's right there. Link, he yes. was, he was in Zelda. Go to patreon.com forward slash room six. It's room the number six. And, uh, R O O M number six. And you literally a buck a month. Okay. It, it won't let me, it won't let us, you know, do, uh, just pay a flat fee. So the best I can do is a buck a month, but you pay a buck a month, you're going to get patron only content. You're also going to get every month. You're going to get something new. Yeah. You'll get all sorts of other cool perks. Uh, the, the, there's different tiers, of course, starting at a dollar a month. Um, other than that, do you have anything else to add? You know, I feel like if you don't listen to the next interview, you're going to be missing out on a lot of big developments. Yeah. Also, Just, wear a mask. No, wear two masks. Okay. CD, follow CDC and WHO guidelines. Yes. But uh, whatever you do in life, please don't make it worse. And remember to be amazing. That's my man. Remember to be amazing. If you want to see more videos like this, click up in the corner. I have no idea which one it is right now. You have to do the thing where you do the opposite of what you think it is. So click up there or there. Anyway. And if you want to subscribe, please click down. God damn it. Oh, cover this is why we can't have nice things. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I tried to make it through the whole fucking video without saying a fucking curse word. Remember but you know what? We're past the 10 minute mark. I'm past the nice boy hour. And, oh. I hope you have a fucking wonderful day. And may you fucking enjoy just whatever whatever is going on for you. And we'll just, see you next time on Route Hopefully. 6. Just say hi. Just say hi in the comments. Bum, ba -da -da -bum. Da -da. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, that's going to be fun.